I just unloaded a bisque this morning and I had a couple jars in here that sort of uh, go along with the previous video and I wanted to just go ahead and show these since we're kind of on this um, subject. This is the first one. This is the first one I decorated um, last week of these jars trying to figure out you know how to get the imagery on these pots, how to deal with this division where the body meets the lid and um, you know do it in a, in a way that's sort of my own um, trying to figure out you know think about if this band needs to be decorated if the top needs to be decorated um, I'm, I'm real happy with the with the four panels down here and the and the drawings in those panels the uh, the cross hatching was came about after sort of much penciling in and erasing um, I guess you could argue that maybe these frames could have been cross hatched to sort of tie the bottom of this and all this together. I think I think this works okay. I think you know I'll just keep you know playing around and trying things and and see what works. Um, it's just it's just a matter of uh, making more pots and doing some drawings and stuff. So uh, anyway, there's that one. And then I'll show you this other one here. I played it a little more safe. If I can get it up here, played it a little safe on this one with uh, no deco here. This was after much penciling in and rubbing off and penciling in and rubbing off, and finally I just ended up having to re-slip this whole band because I had uh, rubbed it just about rubbed it away. So uh, I just decided to go with my my postage stamp type frames here with uh, the portraits of the animals. Uh, I like this one. I like this one a lot. And then this is a little shorter pot, so there was really no need to do any. Uh -oh. Let's see if that'll refocus. There was really no need to do uh, any other decoration on the body of the pot. And then um, I just decided to leave the lid blank finally, and I uh, just have this line here. So um, so anyway, I think I think this pot came out pretty nice, and this pot this could be a square pot and be successful too so anyway I just wanted to show these and um, let you know uh, sorta of the, these are the first ones and we'll just keep on going and I'm gonna make well I've got a lot of pots to glaze today I've got pots there and over there and behind me I'll show you a few real quick but anyway so I'm gonna maybe tomorrow or Monday I'll make a few more boxes square boxes and things and um, just continue to work on that problem just show you a few bisque pots real quick. Got some pots there. Here's the slip trailed platter from the other day. And there's some uh, pots there. So anyhow, uh, lots of glazing to do today. And um, just I'll keep, uh, keep you posted. See ya.